You know what I realized too? I feel like <laughs> I feel like I say the same exact thing on every single live stream. It's like, welcome, 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 everybody. I feel like I do that every single stream. I don't know where I got that from. Apparently, because it was funny, I actually just went and started looking through all my old live streams and looked at, like, my old videos, and I was like, man, I haven't changed, like, at all in the last two and a half years. I'm trying to find a way to not awkwardly start a live stream, and it's, well, welcome, welcome, everybody. Apparently, that's what I do. So, if you, I'm talking to you, are checking this out on replay, do me a favor, go ahead and type in the comments below what your favorite type of candy is. Let's have a debate. What's the best candy? It's the apocalypse, everybody's dying from the coronavirus, and you have to have only one piece of candy, one type of candy. What candy are you eating uh, to hash out the end of the world? That's what I got. That's my question to you guys. So hopefully you guys are all quarantined and staying safe, keeping your family safe especially for anybody around the world. Hope we're all paying attention to this type of stuff because it's uh, it's very real. So, uh, volume is low. All right, give me a second. Give me a second, chat. Is this better, chat? Hold on. That might be... Is that any better? I got this up a decent amount. I can change it, though. Is that still low? Let me know if it's still low. You know what's so funny? It's like... I just adjusted that, and you guys will let me know in a second if that is still low or not. So you don't blow out your ears when you finally you adjust your volume and think it's you, but apparently everybody else thinks it's them, so I don't know. It could be me. Checked it. My, my volume isn't shouldn't be that bad. I think. Um, let me know now. Everybody complain about mic check. How are we at now? You can hear fine. Just JoJo, did it change? Um, here, chat. See, I'm an idiot. God, I'm an idiot. I'm struggling, chat. That might help. <laughs> Volume is low. No, I'm just an idiot, and I uh, don't know how to put a put a microphone in front of my face. So. <laughs> One of these days, you know, you know what I mean, chat. One of these days, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna have one successful live stream where I don't have technical, audio, visual, whatever. Like one of these days, I'm gonna start a live stream and there's gonna be no issues. Like I'm gonna pronounce every hero name correctly, and pe like people are just gonna like. I don't know. I'm not going to say likes and I don't knows. <laughs> which, which, is, which is even funnier because I do Toastmaster class classes and I'm working on public speaking and stuff like this. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be really good at, like I'm supposed to be awesome at, and it's even worse too, because I help people on how to give presentations and I'm one of the, I'm the vice president of education in my Toastmaster class and I've been watching my some of my streams and and I have realized how much I say like and um which is the kiss of death so for what that is or for, for what that what that tells me is I need to just slow down I just need to slow down and just chill and work on my pronunciation, and just, 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 just chill, you know, but we're still struggling, chat, we are, we're going to struggle all the way to the end, and you guys get to watch it unfold, and you guys get to point and laugh, and be like, well, this simpleton, which I appreciate that in the comments, this simpleton can't figure out how to do anything, so thank you so much for checking this out on replay, thank you everybody for watching this live, uh, I really hope that you guys are all quarantined and not infecting the world. And uh, so, yeah, so let me go through. Dimitri, what's up, man? You were first. What's up, Anthony? How are you? Uh, Slim Reaper, what's up, man? JD, how are you? Uh, hey, Anchor, could you add me as a mod, please? Just join Cove. Oh, yesterday. Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Got you, Richard. Got you, buddy. Fix mic, yep. 
Great to see you too, Rami. How are you, man? Toby Wan, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Well, actually, I can't say I'm doing good. We'll, we'll figure that out. I'll talk about that in a second. Edric, how are you? Uh, Vivine, uh, how are you? Gretchen, how are you, dear? Glad to see you. Hopefully you're staying safe over there. Uh, everybody's saying it's low. What's up, Gabriel? How are you, man? First time watching. Maybe you actually do that. I remember next time. Uh, what do you mean? Actually do what? What's up, H. Jules? How are you? Mike Jack, what's up, Squeaky? How are you, man? Uh, Papu, uh, have you been added, uh, Papak? Have you been added to Anchor Cove, buddy? Because I see, I see you're a brand new green, fresh person, and hopefully you have been, but probably haven't been. Haven't been added. Um, fantastic sound now. Okay, we're figuring it out. <laughs> no, I am a simpleton. It's all good, Thomas. <laughs> uh, need a magic feather, right, Gretchen? Want to see my war hits? Uh, I have three left. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing those in a second. What's up, Reagan? How are you? Uh, Maple, how are you? Take it easy, right? Anger's going to pronounce all hero names correctly. One day, lies, right, Jeremy? It's never going to happen. Uh, Scotty Backyard hasn't downloaded line to be added to Anchor Cove barbecue how are you man thomas grave long time follower first time chatter <laughs> love your pose want to ask would you prioritize t uh, tier over gm that's a solid question thomas i think that has to do with your uh emblems which unfortunately tier is um or however he's going to be pronounced i don't know tyr we'll just call him tyr three letters however three letters i i would probably recommend your emblems Figuring out what's going on with your emblem situation. Because right now, GM, Gravemaker, doesn't really combat against many barbarians. But a tier does fight out with Kingston for the the uh, fighter emblem. So that is an issue to consider. But both are amazing. What's up, J-Dub? What's up, Michael? Rage, what's up, you, man? No color for me. Oh, no color for you being in Anchor Cove? Uh, let me, Maple, let me add you. I got you. So safe uh, so far. Okay. It's crazy out there. Yeah, it is crazy out there. You counting out for the event? You had the worst war? I'm sorry about that. Smoking, you smoking corn beef, or corn beef that you're never going to send to me? Did I finish Path of Valor yet? Uh, no, I haven't, actually. Um, all right, so somebody asked, how am I? I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to add this. I got to talk about this. I was talking about my I was talking with my girlfriend yesterday. And what I want to do for the live stream, I got to kind of say this for right now. Um Chad, I'm not really feeling that well. Um I'm definitely my uh I've been noticing a lot of tickling in the back of my throat over the last like 5 days. I had a little bit of uh, kind of so, some lung, like almost like warmth in my chest, and I don't really get sick much. And obviously, I'm not like a huge like coronavirus whatever person. Uh, but I started researching a lot of this stuff, especially last week. Got uh, dove right into it, started researching it. All right, maybe this isn't just just the flu like everybody was claiming in the beginning. Um, major issues if you guys are not stocked up on food. Um, I don't want to get into a lot of the politics. I shouldn't even say politics, but all the ins and outs of it. Um, but the the thing that kind of worries me right now is even though... So my girlfriend, she, again, a little bit personal, um, <clears throat> has, uh, has autoimmune deficiency and actually has... Uh, actually gets treatments for it for every two weeks. And I'm really scared, chat. I'm really worried... And, um, and if something does happen, it like definitely, definitely has an impact. So, um, and the thing that's, I'd say the scariest the most is the fact that, you know, we can't even get tested right now. I've seen some really close friends of mine that have gone to go and get tested and pretty much unless you weren't eating, you know, out of the wet market in Wuhan in China, then literally there's no way for you to get tested right now in America and in my state. Um, unfortunately, things have progressed to where we don't really have the testing facilities. 
So if you are in the United States, just know that what sort of cases are out are exponentially higher than what's being reported because people can't even get tested. People are being turned away and they're not even confirming it as a case. So uh, like even my, my really good friend who lives in Kentucky, he tested negative for strep and flu and couldn't even like breathe yesterday and is waking up and feeling a bit better today. But they just sent him home because they can't. So, um, so what I want to do for you guys is I plan on streaming a bit more. And I don't want to be all doom and gloom because I, I know you guys hear about it all on the live stream or all over the media and all over that type of stuff. So I want to try and stay as far away from coronavirus type stuff. Um, what I will say to all of the people, I would highly recommend doing some independent research on different things because it's there's a lot of different stuff that, that is not out there. So, um, and unfortunately... The next few months are going to be really bad. Um, they're going to be really bad. Um, I have got a good friend in law enforcement that the state of Maine is already preparing and talking about setting up martial law. So within the next week here in America, things are going to be kind of shut down and kind of ran by the government. So um, I don't know what to expect, but I'm really scared. And I want to make this kind of like a fun experience for everybody. And this will kind of be like my little escape and to come and hang out with you guys, so hopefully you guys are on board with that. So that's my bit. I'm not talking about it anymore. For if we don't talk about it in the chat, because I want to just let you guys unwind a bit, be your source of entertainment, because you can't watch the NBA, you can't watch any of the other stuff, so you get to uh, you get to listen to my terrible jokes instead, and just mess up everything. So here's where I'm at. Did I finish Path of Valia yet? No, I didn't. Chocolate. Chocolate's amazing. It's solid. Solid. I'm with you, Maple, on that one. Picking that one. What's up, Poppin? How are you, man? Sergio, first time here? Cool. Thanks for uh, thanks for saying hello. Oh, uh, Reagan, let me add you as a moderator. Sorry about that. You can't finish Valor Challenge? I'm sorry, Falco. You feel so bad sending Simpleton... Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Trying to change your name. <laughs> no, Thomas is all good. I appreciate it, though. Either way. Uh, not much always catching my replays, never been on live. Oh, that's so awesome, J-Dub. I'm glad you were able to catch me live, man. Finished POV today. What's up, lady? How are you? I know, I'm trying to stay healthy. Two you invite me? I'm still, uh, dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't have, I don't have the package right next to me. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ODing on vitamin C. I don't even care. Yeah, let's hope the tests come out sooner. Who would I send first, Morgan Le Fay or Autonomous? Morgan Le Fay. Uh, how do you get good heroes and troops, and where do you get them? So, George, if you are mostly, or Jorge, if you are mostly free to pay, I recommend setting up your training camps, three of them, to TC20. So you bring this all the way. You want to research this last one here, and you want to uh, train in Legendary. And if you're running three over there at 20, then um, then there's a pretty high chance that you're going to uh, to get some. So, yeah. But it's it's mostly time. Thanks, Alan. I appreciate the compliment, man. Testing has come soon. I'll work with. We'll begin tomorrow. Oh, Texas. Okay, that's awesome, Chris. I'm. I'm. I'm hoping. Uh, Masic. Uh, hard question. Which is better, Teleri or Hemendel? Um. So I talked about this. In my opinion, Teleria is slightly better than Hemendel. Uh, I would rather. Uh, I'd rather put my emblems on on a uh, Teleria, if you're running as a tank. Bring on the bad jokes, I know. Um, am I pushing the, I haven't even finished the events. Poor kid, oh, he was having a bad stream last week? Oh, that stinks. What's up, Dimitri? Sorry, I can't read Russian, so. Uh, Alright, so I have war hits I gotta do. I have, I have to finish the event. Oh, and Chad, I have to mention, I'm sorry, I, I have to mention, this this stream is sponsored by my good friends at Raid Shadow Legends. A little bit later on, I will be streaming Raid Shadow Legends for a little bit, but mostly this is just going to be hanging out with uh, with you guys, playing Empires and Puzzles. As a heads up, I will be playing uh, Raid Shadow Legends probably on Wednesday, 
and I'm going to try and actually get some content videos and stuff out before then too. So uh, the positive in all this is that I'm kind of self-quarantined, so I don't really have places that we're going to be going, which means that I'm going to have uh, a bit more time to be hanging out with you guys, and honestly, I think that this is a good distraction for everyone. So I'm going to try and be live a bit more and uh, and hang out and work on some content. There's lots of different projects that I've been considering and I'm hoping that this time now will allow me to produce stuff that you guys could benefit from. So so yeah. Who knew uh, who knew playing games online was a viable alternative to real life? It's it's sad friends, but that, I mean that's the truth. If you're running 3 TC20 and free to play, how do you even level what you get? So Joan, your other one would be running TC2. So, uh, if you if you don't have Joan, your biggest priority is not leveling up other dudes. Your biggest priority is getting four and five stars. That's got to be your biggest priority. Leveling up the three stars is only going to get you so far. But if you really you really want to dedicate some time on getting uh, the four and five stars, and TC twenty, especially if you're cheap to play, is going to be a great resource for getting that. There's a lot of really good staples that are four stars, and what you can do is the stuff that you farm, you use that. Or your other, you know, your other thing is running TC2. So even right now, this is TC2 right now. I have 1,600 dudes chilling in TC2 for me right now, and my biggest issue is ham and not and not recruits and or uh, ham and not not actual dudes. So um, hopefully that answers your question. What's up, Nelson? Thanks for answering your question, Anchor. First time watching live stream. Always catch on replay. Oh, cool. Well. Definitely uh, feel free to send the questions. Sometimes you run that's just one color. See, I wouldn't really run that, Joan. You want to be running TC20. They, they've done math on it, and maybe I'll make a video on this to help every... I've, I'm, I actually I have been wanting to make a efficient leveling uh, video for everybody. So to know what you're actually supposed to be doing to actually level your guys. Because there's a ton of videos out there that talk about how to, you know, in a day, bring your hero to 80. Like, that doesn't really help out most people. So I want to actually give you a um, a resource on how to how to level up your dudes efficiently because I don't think most people know that. So um, what's up, Jana? Do I have Vivica or Morgan Le Fay? I do. Uh, I actually don't have either. You got the four and the five stars. Got so much food stored in your training camps. Oh, okay. Well, Joan, if if you're if you're at that point, then then that's different. If you've got a bunch of four and five stars, then that then then I wouldn't do that. If you're free to play, have almost twenty five max four and five stars. It's taken two years, but it's been worth it. Oh, that's awesome, just Joe. Yeah, then you're doing just fine. What's up? Uh, who's my war opponent? Uh, it's aggressive too. Which actually, let me go battle them. Uh, it's free to play. I have. I have two purple teams right now, and then my blue team. I should I sh I should be able to hopefully I should be able to close this out, chat. Oh, I have one purple team left. The burrito man. All right. Uh. Is Atlantis the best summon gate? Atlantis is a pretty sweet gate. All right, let's uh let's try and get this purple diamond. Oh, we got that. I would say that that was a it was a pretty solid board, but I did make a couple of diamonds to progress me to that point, and didn't blow all my purples. Uh, 
Okay. Um, you pulled Teleria, you have Frida with 18 nodes. Do I think you should reset? Yes, I do. You currently Your current tank is Kunshin with 18 nodes? Well, Kunshin and Teleria work pretty well together. Pick one hero and feed everything I got until it's done. Works for you, Scotty. That video will be great. Yeah, I hope so. Is Dream Francis worth it? Uh, JF, I like JF. Can't imagine leveling the heroes out of more than one TC20. Got queued, four stars waiting. Joan, if, if you're free to play um, and just getting started, I mean, it's different if you've been doing it for, for two years. That's a big difference. But if somebody's just getting started, their priority should be getting their, their thing up to 20 and getting their training camps up. If you could tell my new stuff what to do, not skip around a feed, right? Look forward to leveling efficiency video, yeah. Do I know once you level up Freya, her special attack will attack multiple Seshats and Santa Minions? I don't know. Um, it should, it will stack with multiple Seshats and Santa Minions. Oh, with that. So, alright, so Freya. Sorry, I thought you were talking about Frida for a second. Um, so you're not going to be able to, st it's going to stack on the actual minions themselves, yes. The boost is going to be added to Sheshats and Santa minions, yes. Alright, um, should we go here? Let's go blue. Oh, uh, what do we, oh, I got blue and yellow. could play yellow. Should I do yellow chat? Let me see. I don't really like yellow against... We're just going to do it. That there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try and go for a yellow diamond. See, a lot of times people are like, oh, you got super lucky. But I think a lot of people miss a lot of moves. So I'm going to try right here. I'm going to move this red to try and get a yellow right there to set up a yellow diamond. And at this point, i got to abandon it because I don't want it to mess up here because this will kill Ursania. Or close to killing Ursania. What are you at? 122. Beautiful. Um... I gotta make sure that Ursani doesn't go off. It's okay, this move. Try and get the yellow diamond here. Man, that grave maker just like laid out. Missing two of the Uh, 
That's unfortunate, chat. Alright, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get this. I, c I, I mean, I could one-shot a team, but I'm going to be a team player. And, um... Do this. Who's left? Both of you guys. Probably bring green. Bring my second green team. Ooh, I finally get to use you. I haven't used Teleria yet, chat. I don't know if that's even really necessary to be doing that, but... Yeah, I haven't I haven't used my Teleria yet. In in the regular form, I should say. Alright, uh, so this is war. I, I got 254. Alright, um, alright, let me go back up to chat, see where we're at. What event has most reds? I don't know what you mean by that. Is there a limit to amount of minions? Yep, three. You can only have three. No massive advice. I'm saying that I think running multiple old TC20 as a new player would be personally frustrating. Yeah, well, Joan, the whole point of it is is that you you set up your your biggest focus is going to be on recruits. So the good thing about it is that a lot of people they're running a lot of like TC11s or they're running a whole bunch of stuff. But if you're really trying to be free to play, then running three training camps of 20 is going to be super beneficial. You're not gonna have much. Like you'll probably you'll you'll get some stuff that'll come through, but you're not gonna have much. But the important thing is to work on and getting relevant heroes as soon as possible. So, um, I mean, maybe you run two instead and run a, a, a TC two and a TC eleven. But if people are trying to actually get ahead in this game, they're gonna need to get five stars. Everybody in your family has empires and puzzles, and our alliances. Oh, cool. Nice, Jorge. Mono yellow versus Gwen. Is that ballsy? No, it's not too ballsy. You got, you got Finley? Nice. Good job, Daryl. What's up? What's up? Good morning. What do I think of Tears' role in the current meta? I mean, Tears is amazing. It's amazing. Um, all right. Oh, so chat, I posted it in my last video, doing a uh, giveaway uh, in a couple of weeks, or a week or so, week or so, um, and um, doing that in a week or so, and we are uh, giving away a two 10x rolls to anybody that's a subscriber. Um, they have a chance to win that. Not every subscriber is getting a 10x roll. Um, but you have a chance to go ahead and win that. All you have to do is you have to comment on one of my videos, not on this live stream, so don't do it. You have to comment on a video that is already finished because I need to actually collect it in the comments. So if you want to, you can go to the Teleria video or you can go to my last live stream from two days ago and type in just the word gem so I'll type it right here all I gotta do is type this in the comments on one of my videos and it has to be from this month so don't go people and you can only do it once so post it on one of the videos and um, and that puts you in a drawing for a chance to win uh, a 10x roll for season 3 when it rolls around when it comes back on the calendar and then also, anybody that's in Anchor Cove, 
they have the opportunity to go ahead and win a 30x roll. So I'm giving that away just as support for everybody that's been supporting. And then if I do get that up to 300 members, we're currently at like 207, I think, right now. Um, if that gets to 300, I'm giving away two uh, 30 rolls. So potentially five bucks to be donating monthly. You figure that's almost what? That's like a year and a half's worth that you could be winning instead. Totally up to you. Just just as a nice gesture to everybody. If nobody signs up for Anchor Cove, I'm not worried about it. I'm not stressing it. But I just wanted to give away, do a giveaway for you guys. So so that is going on up until the night before season three comes on the calendar, and I'm gonna be doing the drawing then. So then that way, when season three comes out, you'll have uh, some gems to go ahead and do some rolls. So that's just a nice little gesture. You don't know how to do mono yellow without Viv. I do it all the time, actually, Renny. That team is what I use on um, on every like pretty much consistently against Gwen. All right, this is green dudes. Yeah. Evelyn, buddy, you. We're close to playing Hemdale instead, potentially. No. Um. Nobody told you to level your houses to hold recruits. That's important to run, too. Yeah, that is true. You think Chef and Revenant uh, recommended Heemdale before Teleria? They're so close in both Paladins right now. Emblems on Queen of Hearts. Yeah, I'd recommend switching them off Queen of Hearts. Yeah, that that's exactly the point, Edward. I did a I did a pretty decent breakdown on everything with both Heemdale and um, and Teleria. So there's uh, definitely some factors to consider. Oh, he really uh, focused on that Evelyn, huh? All three hits in a row on Evelyn? That's pretty rude. Okay, um, it takes time to chat if you're free to play. It took you two years to get your five stars up. Yep. All right. Um, Brighton Held is pretty awesome against Blue Titans. Oh, yeah. So do you get your emblems back if you reset the hero? Yep. Exactly, Michael. That's that's a good point. You get all your emblems back, but not all the ham and iron invested, which is something that I've been talking about for everybody that's been just powerhousing, leveling up three stars and four stars, and getting them to this node and everything like that. Uh, like maxed them all out. I'm like, all right, well, hopefully you weren't maxing them out for the raid tournaments because you could just use that ham towards I don't know, actually um, higher level heroes. Because you definitely don't need to emblem them up. I have literally zero four stars that are four stars or three stars that are emblemed. Z zero, none. Because it's not worth the, the, the ham. 
and the iron that's invested into it. So I think people miss that part to it. Unless you're comp competing in like the events, then that's definitely way more understandable. But if you're if you're just if you're just kind of casually playing, um, and especially if you're doing it to try and get better raid tournament scores, don't do that. Don't do that, chat. I get top one percent in just about all of them, and um, and don't emblem up stuff I'm not going to use. There's a couple of exceptions, potentially, but even me, I still can't justify that the couple of exceptions. It was super low. Alright. Uh, not a fan of cheese. Revive mana booths. It's like Chico to me. I don't know what cheese ever did to you. I like cheese. Oh, you're Renny. Oh, okay, cool, Renny. Only buddy and blah, blah. That's funny. Even for newer players, Max, I wouldn't really recommend it. If, if you do have a decent base of like four and five stars... Then even for newer players. Because I look at it as like... Where, or like where are you going to take that from instead? Um, sorry, hold on. That, that, um, the problem is, is that people are going to get too comfortable having these four stars emblem up, and they're going to be wasting so much time and ham and resources when they should just be leveling up the five stars, because the five star leveled up with emblems is a big difference. It's a big difference. And you're going to be forced stuck with like old antiquated guys, and you're not going to want to reset this guy because he's on the 20th node or whatever. And stats wise, it looks better than a, a fresh five star that doesn't have any emblems. But the problem is, is as soon as you add emblems to that that five star, it just totally outclasses that four star. So it's it looks deceptive. But I, I just, I don't recommend it, chat. Especially for your defense. That was something immediately that, that I that I took notice to. Because given, given what the resources it costs, it's not worth it. Um, it's just not worth it. Alright, I'll talk about that. Alright, um... Give me one second, chat. Give me a second chat. Is that that? There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to play uh, Raid Shadow Legends for a bit. Like I told you before in the past, this is this stream is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Um, for everybody watching on replay that's going to hassle me on this, just keep in mind, chat, that the reason, a big reason why I work with Raid Shadow Legends is because that takes off a lot of pressure off of, off of me making clickbait videos and making content just for the sake of content and, and trying to you know, figure out Google's algorithm to go ahead and do stuff when I can just 
come and hang out with you guys and live stream and not have to stress and also not have to stress out my viewers on like trying to find ways to go ahead and get people to donate do all that so Ray Shadow Legends if you, you know you you want to hate, hate it or whatever they do they do sponsor my channel they are sponsoring the stream um, I would say kind of get used to it in the most respectful way because what it does is chat at the end of the day that ultimately helps you out a ton it helps you out a ton. It's what allows me to make sure that, like, Anchor's Hero Guy, when I just re-released all the brand new updated grades, that I didn't have to charge, like, a little fee or whatever, or, like, find different ways, because ultimately, I have to find a way to justify the amount of money it costs to go ahead and live stream, and also um, justify the amount of time that I invested into this. So, uh, massive shout-out. Love the guys over there at Raid Shadow Legends. have been super supportive. And the game is actually pretty fun. You can see I'm actually leveled up a decent amount. I've been playing the game. This is real. If you do want to check the game out, uh, make sure you go ahead and check out the description links. Because by doing that, you actually get 100,000 silver. You also get uh, the new Light Sworn. Or I shouldn't say new. But you get Light Sworn. Which I've said I'm pretty jealous that you get him. You can see I don't have him yet. But this is actually a super relevant hero in this game. So you get that. Also mentioned too, if you are part of Amazon Prime, which most people are, they have right now, if you join within the next seven days, you're also getting this content over here, which is uh, free summons. So you actually get quite a bit of stuff just for coming and checking out the game. Uh, so I recommend checking it out. And I'm going to go ahead and play it, play it with you guys. And... Um, Alright, so I gotta go fight the clan boss, claim my loot from here, alright, um, go fight him, I, I love the, uh, the auto feature that they have on this, uh, anybody in the chat, is there anybody that does play, um, does play Raid Sh Shadow Legends? Um, would I use emblems on Teleria? All defense or HP? Uh, so what you want to do for, especially for Teleria, you want to prioritize defense health attack, in my opinion. Uh, oh, I'm pretty far behind on chat. If you could only have five heroes, what would they be? Jorge, that's an awesome, awesome question. Only have five heroes? Oh, that's tough because cause then I got to think about like what heroes would be all around amazing in all facets of the game. And then I'd have to also consider emblems. So the first hero that comes right off the bat that I would want because it's amazing in all facets of the game, even in all Titan hits, the only issue is on defense, it's not the greatest. I would say probably Athena. I think Athena is a, a mega, mega important one out there. So that would be like my defensive down hero. Uh, that covers blue. Um, man, this is this is really tough, because you're only having five heroes. So the five heroes would have to be. Would they be? I don't even know. Probably Albi, probably Athena, Albi, because Albi, but Albi's trash on Titans. Well, not trash, but just not that great. The man again. Hmm. Or would I want like Tarlac? I'd probably need Tarlac instead. But Tarlac is terrible on defense. Because I'm like considering, because you, you're going to need to bring a team that also works on Titans. I think I'd probably prioritize. But then it's like, th that's way too difficult of, of an answer. Cause I'm like breaking down everything. Because then it's like, if you only have five heroes, then what are you even concerned about? You're not worried about leveling up your heroes or sending your heroes. But then are you like worried about like the events? Like what would be the point if you only have five heroes? I don't know, that's too tough. And I feel like I took way too long to answer that question and I still didn't even answer the question. Okay, actual cheese you're obsessed with. Okay. 
Now you're immune. That's funny. <laughs> uh, you only have Tibbs and Grim emblem. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not about that life. You can do that though. Okay. Uh, you just don't get why people want to be first ranked in the tournament just to show off. Just want to be in one percent. That's 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 my life, Jana. I'm only trying to be in that one percent. Okay. Yeah, Jorge, I just tried answering that. You quit Meth Wars? Good for you. Glad you, um... Glad you quit Meth Wars. It's always good to quit Meth. I, I very much endorse you quitting, uh... Meth. Um... It's good to see you, too, Irina. Yeah, so, Scotty, if you want to check it out, man, I recommend just checking it out through the description links, man. I get credit for... I don't even know how many people are checking it out. I get credit, though, and they keep paying my bills. So, so that's where I'm at. So, if you, uh, if you want to support Anchor and stuff like that, that'd be, uh, that'd be cool. So, this is kind of like... This is their raid version. Uh, they call it Arena, which is so funny that Empires and Puzzles calls it raid. But, um... Ouch. I don't think you should have done that spell, buddy. Yeah, this is like the one time that like auto just failed me hard. I'm gonna attack you again. This one. Wow, they got they got way higher speed than me. All right, all right, okay, all right. I get it. I'm done. I'm sorry. All right, you beat me. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry. Chill. Chill, buddy. Okay. Um, is Raid Shadow Legends an idle game? I don't know what that means. Oh, like uh, where you can just kind of like chill. Um, you have to actively kind of use it a little bit. There's some stuff that that idles, like there's some like leveling up type of stuff, but. Yeah, you still gotta go in and do it, but they do have like a pretty awesome auto feature. So they and then they do have um, they do have a way that you can kind of reset stuff, but you still you you still gotta you still gotta mess with it. My phone doesn't charge. You know that's one of the things that I realized. Oh, that might be why, chat. <laughs> like, look. Like, why isn't my phone charging? Well, I've been streaming this whole time with that dangling. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Well, hopefully my phone doesn't now die. Because it's so low. Downloading read now, hopefully for the devs the game are better than the EP. I appreciate that. Hopefully you checked it out through the description link so you can collect all your stuff. But thank you so much. Uh, so the devs, they uh, they have a bit more communication from what I've seen. Um, I know that the uh, I follow some of the some of the content providers of Raid Shadow Legends. I do follow some of them and have been listening to kind of what they say. There is kind of um, like, I understand their frustration, because I dealt with the same frustration when when I was dealing with, like, SG and trying to figure out uh, a way to, like, mutually and beneficially work together. 
and they pretty much were only interested in working with other players or other advertising ways because they felt like they had already won by kind of getting the person that is making content for their videos. So they had already like won in that sense. So what would be the point of them really incentivizing a content provider that is already playing their game? So in terms of marketing, you're going to go and market to other other areas because that's what's going to happen. And then they want to go ahead and make it so you do really well on YouTube instead. So but what I will say from a content provider standpoint, they even the people that are making content are way better managed than than SG. Like SG is like you just kind of do your own show. Like you're kind of left to the wolves. You know, we're making content, you know, we're doing this thing, you know, the forms, none of that stuff is, you know, to be a moderator on the forms is literally pointless, in my opinion, unfortunately, because they do so, such amazing work. Um, like, they do such amazing work. And unfortunately, they don't really make it to where it's something of importance. But, um... But yeah, they they um they incentivize their uh, their content providers a bit more. I would say that. And ultimately, I'm I'm happy. You know, it's good by me. If you could only have five heroes, what would uh would they be? Gravemaker, Athena. And I definitely wouldn't be Natalia. I don't even use that. I think Athena is probably... Athena makes the list. Gravemaker for sure is solid, but it's like... What are the five heroes? See that... Oh, Jorge, give me that. What am I using these five heroes for? Oh my god, I don't think I can beat this team either. For defense, give me, give me five heroes defense, give me five heroes titans. Or give me five heroes offensively. Give me something else. Alright, I can't kill this team, too, apparently. How do you think they come up with these names? Oh, oops. I didn't mean to reset. Um, I don't know. Best defense attack with the next heroes. I don't know what you mean. Best defense and attack teams with next heroes. That's too much for me to compartmentalize right now. Um, I don't know what you're asking me, Roman. Okay. Um. So yeah, this is uh like their arena mode. I gotta get back. So they do have the dungeon, which I gotta get into the dungeon more. Apparently this is where I'm supposed to be at. Your dream team you use in raids, Zim. I don't know if that's Frida. Mitz. Really? That's an a. It's an awkward team, in my opinion. Hey, if it works for you. Hey, what's up, Eagle Girl? You beat Zero with that team. Nice. Zim, Frida. Mitz, Magni, Marjana. So the dungeon is really cool. Apparently I can't kill this.
What what uh what's your name in the game? Ionia? Or what was your name? This is where I gotta be. Alright, and then uh, after this, I'm gonna go back. Uh, uh, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the um, the uh, the raid tournament stuff that I gotta do. What's my most powerful hero? Uh, on paper right now it says Jean-Francois, just because he has the highest emblems. Oh, Jenna? Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm definitely a life steal. Sweet. This actually was like a really solid find. All right. Um. All right. I'm gonna go back. Uh, if, guys, if you do want to check this out, make sure you check the description links below. Let me just take a look real quick. See who's. Um. Yeah, make sure you go ahead and check the description links below. Because you get the the 100,000 silver. You get the, the champion for checking it out. You don't have to buy anything. I haven't, I haven't invested a dollar into this game. Just been playing free to play. And so you can do as well too. And that, that really does help and support me out. Um, give me a second here. Hold on. I think this should be a seamless... Yeah, actually. Let's see. Let me do this. Uh, that there. Hide that one. Look at that. Look at that, chat. Look at that. Speaking of the tournament, actually, here's something that I want to go ahead and record for you. So I wanted to talk about uh, efficient ways of spending money in this game. I know a lot of times people are wondering, should I buy this offer? Is this offer worth it? I don't know which offer I should go ahead and, and buy. So I'm going to talk about this tournament offer. This tournament offer is an interesting one. It is only $20. So I think that this is a really great offer for people that are just kind of starting out in the game and don't have a lot of the, uh, the troops because you are getting five troop emblems in this. And then the backpacks, the adventure kits are absolutely relevant. You do have some of these these trainer heroes and stuff like that. The biggest thing that you're looking at, in my opinion, is kind of the troop tokens on what stuff costs. This is definitely a beginner type of offer. I wouldn't really recommend this further on as you progress in the game. But I wanted to show you this because this is the challenge offers. I didn't buy any of these, and I didn't buy any of these to show you uh, to break them down and talk about them. So this is the standard offer that, that you're getting is 200 gems for 99 cents. The biggest thing that I'm looking at in terms of offers is I'm looking at gems. So in that gem ratio, I'm looking at the gem ratio here when you're uh, considering and buying gems at this value. So you can see $400 or 400 gems is for $5. So that's kind of the basic amount. In my opinion, then that says that... Um, that a gem is close to worth like it's like 85 or something like that 85 per dollar okay so when you're looking at this I mean you can get almost 30 gem you know almost 3,000 gems for $30 it's close to one for oneing and this is like a really popular one is 28 uh, 2800 gems for $30 so when I look at uh, this offer just so you know this first offer this first offer is amazing this is a really, really, really good offer to get because you're only spending five five dollars to get a thousand gems. 
which is really good because the gems are going to be what are going to allow you to summon for heroes. And you want to be less concerned about stuff like this, which gives you like world energy flasks and like tornadoes. Stuff like this is a whole lot less of a worry. Um, so this one is, so you're looking at what we just did right there. This is a thousand gems for five dollars or for ten dollars a thousand gems plus one free roll. This one, I wouldn't really worry about it. Like, I wouldn't worry about the stuff from the right. Your priority should be on pulling heroes and four-star ascension mats. That's your that's your priority when considering when considering gem offers. So this one, I'm not really stoked about it. A lot of people may buy it, but it's still, I mean, it's decent. It's not bad, but like this is amazing. Uh, this one is also decent. This one's pretty good. Because you're getting you're getting a free you're getting a free uh, roll for for every roll. Does that make sense? So you're getting you're getting a challenge coin, which is a free roll here, and then you're also getting a roll here, which is three hundred gems. This one three dollars to spend to spend nine dollars to get one two three four five six. So this one's definitely worth it. Um, spend nine dollars to get nine rolls is 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 worth it is worth it for sure uh this one here i don't like this offer at all this is the same one for one ing plus five five world energy flasks i wouldn't really worry about this offer because the gems is the big thing that's that's the thing you need to consider um another situation this is again it's three gems you know um you're spending three dollars to get you spend nine dollars to get what is it six rolls? Nine dollars to get six rolls is worth it. Okay, three and or sorry twelve. I can't I can't math right now. So no, it is nine. Nine dollars to get six rolls because you got rolls here and you got a roll there. So this is two rolls for three dollars. Definitely worth it. So me, what I'm personally going to do is I'm going to buy this offer. I'm going to buy this offer, buy all three, and then I'm definitely going to buy this offer. So in total, I'm going to spend $9 plus $9, and then another $5, so that's $24, but I'm getting a lot of gems. And um, so that's kind of what you want to kind of consider. Uh, you want to look at the, the budget on that. I will say that there are some like higher level ones, which are like $100 offers. You get like 120 20 gems, or sorry, um, 1,200 gems, stuff like that, that could be worth it, but you want to be looking at the gems are the most important part when you're considering it, gems, ascension items, or rolls, so the rolls being, uh, they could also be event hero summon tokens, those also count as two, I consider that, um, event summons, so if you're getting the, the summon coins, or if you're getting like 100 Atlantis coins, stuff like that, you want to focus on hero roles are going to be mega, mega important. That's that's your incentivization. You don't really want to worry about the other stuff because that stuff can be crafted. All that stuff will come later, but you need the heroes. The heroes are the important part. Um, hopefully that helps people um, when considering which ones to get. Um, all right. You did make it live for the first time in a while. All right, so what do I got to do? All right, so I'm going to set this up. So let's talk about this. I talked about kind of the raid tournaments and stuff like this. I made a video on this that is also really important too. Um, because if you look at the, the what it is, first and foremost, if you haven't checked it out, go look at my hero grades. The, the grades are up anchorgame.com slash grades you go there um, I have graded everybody and I have given them the uh, the grading for it unfortunately I haven't done three stars yet you have to kind of like listen to me on this so you're missing red which means that green is going to be super super mega important and you want to build a team around green okay so I see a lot of people still, I don't know why people haven't figured this out. If you're missing a color, if you're missing red, you can't bring any red heroes. They're not allowed. 
So you should bring green heroes and focus kind of the middle part of your defense to be green. So if you're not using all your ham and iron on wasting emblems on three stars, you could actually use that, that ham to level up more guys. Uh, so buff booster, buff booster to me it kind of runs similar as kind of like a regular raid. So I look at um, kind of the supporting thing. I want to set up a defense. First and foremost, I'm setting up like heroes that I have that have emblems. For me, I don't have any three stars. But color specific is mega important for at least the tank. Uh, Shrub Bear is probably easily the best tank, I would say, in, um, in the three stars. And then what I'm looking for is, I think I finished him. Where is he at? Yeah, Istak. Istak is hitting multiple enemies, so this is a really good flank. And then I do like Muggy as well, too. So this might be who I'm going to be running um, because he's just kind of annoying. And then I want to focus on probably high-impact players that hit, hit the most amount of heroes at the fastest speed. So I think they have a medium hero that hits all. But this this one, so unfortunately, just so you guys know, these these brand new three stars that they just came out with are really, really good. And uh, I'm kind of bummed out that I haven't done it. So like Biolf, Biolf is probably, actually Biolf is probably better than Shrub Bear. I would, ra like, I would probably run this. Potentially. Like, that's a really annoying team right there, chat. But I haven't done... Oh, sorry, my mug is finished. But um, but I haven't done Biolf. Biolf is insane, though, for this. But I, don't, I, I haven't done him, and I honestly don't want to use the resources on him. Because most, most of my progress that I make is going to be in the... Um, most of the progress that I make on the tournaments is to just went... Um, I could actually... I don't know if I want to go all green. You could go all green. Hmm. I mean, something like this might be... If I'm going to go all green... Minisius spells buffs from all enemies at fast speed. Hmm. Ishtak, maybe. I can run all green. I'm okay with this. be pretty annoying. Yeah, I'll roll with it. Like, uh, Minisius works really well against them. It is running at fast speed. I want them flanking because they're probably going to have that up. So the case could be made that I could possibly run Ishtak instead. Average versus fast, e fast speeds on the corners. Yeah, I like that. So slow, which hopefully he lives. If 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 Shrub Bear lives, I wish I wish. Uh, I'm trying to think if I want Shrub Bear. I really just wish I had Biolf. Should I level him up real quick, chat? I think I'm gonna do that actually. Yeah, I'm gonna run by Ulf instead. Um, I'm just gonna level him up real quick. Do that. Um, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna run that defense. That's the defense I'm gonna roll. I'll finish by Ulf. That'd be interesting. This is gonna be a kind of an annoying team. So I don't really like Shrub Bear besides being in the tank position. 
if this was if this was the um, if this was the fast tournament, then I would probably run Shrub Bear instead. But Biolf running it at average speed is insane. It's going to be really good. And I kind of yeah, no, I'm I'm totally fine with with that setup. All right. So that's what I got. Oh, Carver. Oh, I forgot about that. He hits all. Yeah, Carver. Carver runs it at slow speed. I haven't finished my Carver yet. Carver's really, really good, though. Do I have Carver? I I know for a fact I have Carver. I just I haven't been able to level Carver up yet. Where's he at? Yeah, right here. Carver's really good. Oh, at average speed. Maybe I'll run them both. Chat, maybe I'll power level these both these guys up real quick. So this Carver and Ishtak seems good. Let me just see this this defense might might have just gotten nasty. Cause I could just run let me just make sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna run Carver. You guys motivated me to do it. I've been wanting to do Carver for a while. Yeah, this seems nasty. Because Ishak hits three at average. It's going to hurt. And then I've got uh, snipers on the end. Yeah, this, see, this is a really sweet team. See, this is what I'm talking about. That it's important that I start focusing my energy instead of focusing on emblems. Just focus my energy on leveling up more guys. Uh, because that's a bit more important. Alright, so let me edit team... Level, I gotta get rid of you and you, because you guys are already leveled. Oh, I gotta finish Teleria too. I ended up buying the offer, it was like for 30 bucks. The, um... The one that gave me a tonic. I was missing a tonic. And... Alright. Let's do this. Give me one second, chat. Let me see. I'm going to see something real quick. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Let's level you up. See, this doesn't take that long. I'm more worried about potentially. I'll probably go through all my ham, but that's okay. But I've got I've got a I've got a ton of um, feeders right now. So like even like right now. I've got 1,600 in here, almost two grand in here. It's like 3,600 dudes that are already, already finished. So it's a matter just of ham at this point. And right, look at this. Uh, Luigi, or uh, all right. Uh, hold on one second.
You always said Carver was slow. Put him in in with uh, Fryer. Yeah, not slow at all. Average speed. I just had to check that too. Um, that's the defense you got. Oh, cool, Michael. Zeline and Talia, who have great new heroes. I know. I got them both. I ended up uh, deciding to do Talia instead. Unfortunately. It took... I was, like, really bummed out about that, to be honest with you. Because I've been chasing Zeline forever. It was funny because I got Zeline right when I got Mother North. And I just finished Mother North. And I was like, are you kidding me? Alright, I guess... I guess... I'm going to have to be okay with my tonics. And then Teleria came out, and I was like, oh. So, I also got uh, Radisuker, whatever the little rat's name is. And, um, so I don't know when. I think, uh, I think Zelene is next. Uh, how many three st new three stars do I keep? So for me, this is the first time for season three. Uh, I know that I'll get the three star heroes. If there's like any that are bonkers, I know I'll end up just getting them. So I'm not really worried about um, not having them right this second. Because I'm not like pushing in the events or anything like that. Uh, and I know if there's, like, one that's, like, really, really good, then I can just keep multiples. But even, like, the multiples of the three and the four stars, like, the three stars, I haven't, I ha I don't think I have any multiples of three stars that are leveled up. Um, but I absolutely keep one of each no matter what. And then, and then I just wait and progress and see what happens. See if they become, like, really good. And then at that point, then, I can just start saving them. Otherwise, if that makes sense. Uh, Teluria, Zeline. Uh, for me, personally, I had to go to Teluria just because I need a better tank. And, like, my green tank would be terrible. bad. Taloria paired with Zeline, or Taloria paired with uh, Valia and Jean Francois is like really good. All right, you're maxed. You're maxed all the way out. Cool. Yeah, I've been wanting to do Carver for the longest time. I just haven't pulled the trigger. Do you have five pandas fully leveled? Really? Wait, did they make another great, great hero than Zaleem to have to wait again? Yeah. AB, it was, um... It was Teleria. Teleria and Heimdall. Teleria is the, the hero of the month if you're not playing at the moment. It's the hero of the month. So, if you're considering getting back in the game, you might miss uh, you might miss Teleria. Which I just did a video on Teleria if you haven't checked that out yet. Oh, Ganju? You have three Rudolphs? Man. I haven't even finished my first Rudolph.
That's good because my my green was slacking so much. It was like up until like probably like a few weeks ago. Like I'm such a scrub when it comes to attacking. I'm so like oh crap. I just over leveled him. I hate it when that happens. Um I'm so like want to just figure out the board and like playing with like really bad heroes when I attack that I don't put as much emphasis on leveling up guys as I should. So I was running like my my mono green team in tournaments was like a joke. It's much better now, but especially after this What's up, Superwoman? How are you? No going back to the game. That's so funny. <laughs> hey, I get it, Jenna. Jenna, you can definitely go go check out Raid Shadow Legends. I honestly, Chad, I want to play Fortnite. That's what I really want to do. I might, I might do like a late night Fortnite stream soon. That's I think that's that's the game that I enjoy the most. But it's also kind of like the game that I play when I want to stress or de-stress and not like worry. So it's just it's just my chill game where I get to like hang out with my friends and do that. And it's like I got like a few like really good friends that I play with on there. And uh and I can just play just to play. Like, this is to, like, make content. This is to, like, help you guys out and stuff like that. Definitely more of a, a factor for me. You know, making content and helping you guys out. But if I want to, like, play a game, like, that's Fortnite for me right now. Alright, he's almost finished. I'm almost out of ham. I'm going to go through, like, 1.5 million ham. He's finished. There's my defense. Oh, special skill not upgraded all the way through. It's at six. That's super annoying. Fifty percent didn't do it. Yeah, make sure 100 percent all right cool so that's finished it's my tournament team it's gonna be pretty annoying actually I think I think this is gonna be a really good team forty eight percent attack on carver seems good and on ishtak this is I think I think I think this is gonna do really well All right, chat. Thank you all so much for um, for kicking it out. Is uh, Rudolph is definitely worth leveling up. I just haven't done it. Carver was one of your first heroes, Max. Due to that, yeah, that's funny. Standard three star team is three Namahage, two Squire Rabbit. Yeah, I could see that. I I actually I do have double Squire Rabbit and one Namahage. Yeah, Rudolph is definitely worth leveling up. Still kicking? Yeah, me too. All right, chat. Could you do me a huge favor? Please, like, like this video. <laughs> like, uh, just, like, I'm going to call this a wraps up here, but we've got 14 likes. And also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, chat, that's that's kind of low-key annoying. Um, and it's only annoying because I'm, like, 18 people away from 15,000 subscribers. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, especially if you sat here and literally watched this whole stream, please just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like, try and get me over 15k. I'm like 18 away. 
it'd be cool to hit 20k soon. I think I would like that. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. I've kind of flatlined a little bit, chat. You got Finley and Teleri on a temple. Nice. Good job, Godmind. Nice. Good for you. Um. Awesome. Yeah. So I see some likes. So three of you liked it. There's 63 of you. I'm talking to you, all 63 of you that are watching. I almost guarantee most of you didn't like this video. So do me a favor, like the video. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and subscribe. If you're not already, please subscribe. Pulled Castro, one of Finley. Yeah, it happens. All right, chat, I'm heading out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm probably going to be live again here real soon. I definitely will be live again by Wednesday, possibly Tuesday. I uh, want to make use of being isolated. And uh, hopefully you guys get to uh, to chill. Thank you so much. Who just subscribes? Somebody subscribed. Jeb, thanks, Jeb. You're the real MVP. Taking one for the team, subscribing. Appreciate that, Jeb. Um... Congrats, Gold. Of course, like the video. Thank you. Thank you, Jana. You pulled straight trash? Me too. Straight fire trash. What causes this game to shut down? I don't know. Oh, uh, yours? It might be overheating, Scotty. Oh, during war hits? Oh, I don't know, man. That stinks. I'm sorry. Thank you, Gretchen. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks, Cedric. Thank you, guys. Uh, have an awesome day. I'll see you guys soon.